Dark by Design may contain graphic and or explicit content. Audience discretion is advised. Hi, what's up? What happened? Where's where is this music coming from? Oh no. Do you hear music? No, I don't. Where? <laughs> I'm sorry. This is really weird. I don't know where this music is coming from. Is it Spotify? What is happening? Okay. As soon as you, I'm sorry. As soon as you hit record, Spotify uh-huh. started playing. And I thought you were playing that music as a dramatic <laughs> introduction. It, I have like a lo-fi chill sleep thing that I listen to while I do my research Absolutely. and that's what started yeah. playing and I was gotcha. like okay so it's like a like a saga intro yeah. like are you gonna tell us like a really cool story <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> anyway back in time <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh well thank you for that, that intro go ahead yep <laughs> <laughs> well hello and welcome I'm Bev <laughs> I'm Rachel. (laughs) And you're listening to Dark by Design, the podcast where two creative gals share stories of the macabre to then pick them apart before the nightmares start. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're so glad to have you you. here and we hope uh, you enjoy this episode because it is something you've probably never even heard about. (laughs) Yeah, no, it was, it's very bizarre. And I bet you, except our Dutch listeners who understand and can read Dutch, will understand what the topic is about. So it's very mm-hmm. wacky. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. How are you today? Great. Um, I am a chaotic mess. So I am both um, wide awake and exhausted. Um, yeah. Caffeinated uh, and high. So I'm also incredibly relaxed. Probably a yeah. bad combination. Whoops. Uh, but I'm here to have fun. <laughs> I did already take a nap today. <laughs> Admittedly, <laughs> one nap has been taken. Just a just a power nap, but but we're here. Decaffeinated or caffeinated, dehydrated, and here for a good time, not a long time. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Actually, thank you so much for that. <laughs> the story of my life. Oh my god! Thank you for summing it up, Bev. I appreciate that. How are you? Gosh, you know, I am. I'm good. Um, I I I don't know. I've been freaking myself out again. Mm. <laughs> also, okay, I do think, tell how. Yeah, mm-hmm. I just, I don't know. I've been playing some spooky games, and it's really just been putting me on edge, you know? Like, oh, I, I'm I just yes. scared all the time. Oh, yeah, it's that's a fun fair. time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, man, but... that feels like me when I was, like, in my early 20s, right after moving out. And not realizing mm-hmm. I had anxiety. <laughs> Why am I scared all the time? <laughs> You're like, what is this feeling? Why do I feel so afraid? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why do I feel like I'm dying all the time? <laughs> yeah, very true. Very true. Oh, I will also, um, I will briefly mention it because I have no idea where this is going. But I kind of, if it does go somewhere, I'd like to give the listeners some, uh, uh, what is it? Um, anticipation for the story that's building. Right. So I have another crazy idea that's in the works. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I'm figuring it out now, but it includes real estate and investors. We'll find out. <laughs> Bev knows about two fun it. Things. She's not gonna say. <laughs> yes. And two fun things that I know nothing about. So I have to go do a little bit of research, talk to the friends that I do know, and I talk, get my parents involved. <laughs> <laughs> they need to reel me in. So um, I will keep you posted if anything happens. Uh, Bev already knows about it. She's she's my right-hand man. And uh, uh, yeah, exciting. so if anything uh, progresses with that, I'll let you know. But until mm-hmm. then, we'll find out. Oh, God. Yep. What am I doing? I just got real Remember nauseous. that guy? That's fine. Mm-hmm. You know what? It's going to be fine. The worst they can say yeah. is no. And when exactly. one door closes, a bunch more open. Exactly. You know? just wrong. I just realized I built the wrong house the entire time. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Continue, Beverly. Thank you for the thank you for the vote of motivation. I'm sorry. Mm, mm. I feel so bad. They're gonna say no, yes. You're good. Don't worry. I'm about putting it. that out into the universe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh it's yeah. It's gonna work out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be great. It's gonna. 
oh it's gonna be amazing oh all right okay okay We're, yeah no more talk of it because i don't want them guessing yet <laughs> oh, right. yeah you but can't guess cool. yeah mm -hmm. don't even think You're about it loud. Yeah. go ahead and guess in the comments below and we can we appreciate the algorithm boost but that's fine but that but don't guess but guess in the comments below just say it below. Uh, do if it. you're right, we mm -hmm. won't tell you. If you're not right, we still won't tell you. Oh, we'll do a poll. That would be kind of fun. Mm -hmm. And there's no right know. answer. <gasps> yeah. <That's kind> of <laughs> They're all lies, but we'll do a poll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, what uh, what is Rachel planning? All wrong answers. That's what we'll ask for. Put all of the wrong answers in the comments below. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's like no sleep where you play again. into it. Just give us every single thing that she is not planning mm -hmm. and we'll play along with it mm -hmm. absolutely <laughs> oh my god it'd be so much fun actually i'm here for this chaotic game not gonna lie <laughs> oh, dude how fun uh speaking of chaotic games uh <laughs> you i would like to hear today's uh topic yes absolutely oh. tell us all about um was all about I don't know how topic. to say it. Either. Yeah, I was like, I don't oh. know how to say it either. I will fully admit. Um, dear I mean, uh, Dutch listeners, I do have a. Is it Palingoprar? Palingo so I have. Sure. Yeah, something along the lines of that. Yeah. Um. So for my Dutch listeners, sorry that we're gonna butcher your language this uh this uh, episode. It's I do have a disclaimer below. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. my it's my turn to, to butcher words, which I do it all the time, but it's going to be like extra words because it's not my native language. So <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have a lot of fun. But no, today's topic is, uh, oh, we're going to try it. Pal paling proper. Um, it is a paling pro 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 I don't know, but it's essentially in English. It's uh, eel pulling riots that occurred in Amsterdam. So it's pretty fun. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited for it. It's going to be <laughs> so freaking cool. I am excited to hear this. So if you guys are excited about today's topic, as well as uh, any other topic that we've done, then please go ahead and check us out on the show's website at www.darkbydesignpodcast.com, um, which is also linked in the description. We include all sorts of photos, videos, um, all of our sources are on the website. So if you want any of those, you can check us out there. If you're watching this on YouTube, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're listening on other streaming platforms, then please rate us five stars and leave us a nice comment or two. Uh, in the past, we've asked for your cat's name. Yes. Today, we ask you mm -hmm. whether or not you like feet. Just say yes or no. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Tell us if you like feet. <laughs> Do you have a foot fetish? We will not judge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you like other people's little piggies? Tell us in the comments below. <laughs> will they go to market or will they stay home? <laughs> How do you prefer your piggies? Oh, what fun. Yeah, no, I'm totally in into that blanket. one. Eel, yeah. Uh, do yeah. It. Tell us. Yeah. <laughs> um, and if you tell us whether or not you have a foot fetish or, you know, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can just leave us a compliment or a comment, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Either is so fine. Neutral. We don't judge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll thank you on air and we'll give you a lovely compliment right back. Or we will also respond whether or not we have feet fetishes because right now it is still up in the air. So, oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Building the anticipation. I like how you do it. Oh, so I much anticipation. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tune um, in for the next episode to find out. <laughs> Uh, there is, there are a lot of clues on our individual show, socials regarding our feet fetishes. So you can find us oh, individually shit. at, uh, well, Rachel can be found at Miss Quirk with two Ks. Uh, she streams on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday. Um, we'll possibly be going back to Sundays. I'm not yeah, quite sure. Me yeah. Neither. In the future, still up in the air, like her foot mm -hmm. fetish. And then uh, yep. Instagram and YouTube. Again, that's Miss Quirk with two Ks. <laughs> and then I'm on Instagram, sometimes Switch, and YouTube at Beverlocks with two S's, and I definitely have some clues in there. So. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Great tie-in, by the way. That was a great segue. Thanks. Wow, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to 
going to get so many text messages from family because of that. But thank you, though. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. And to be no, it's okay because I. It's not like a bad like they're concerned. It's more of like they already know, but they just want to know what the clues are. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's what they're going to be they're asking. Like, what are the clues? <laughs> they're not surprised. It's mm-hmm. like mom. You know, I think the biggest clue is the picture of a foot on my Twitch banner. But you know, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> think about it. Think about it. Think about it. <laughs> Yeah. Why do you think I was obsessed with shoes as a kid? I'm just kidding. I was not obsessed with shoes as a kid. Or was I? I'll never tell the truth. <laughs> Still uh, up in I'm the a air. little jokester Still bitch. Up yeah. the feet. <laughs> I love it. Uh, but uh, speaking of, uh, I don't know, a topic. <laughs> Actually, speaking of last week's topic, uh, that's a strange segue, but. Um, so I chose today's topic based off of last week's topic. I think that's a better intro for this paragraph. You're welcome. Uh, which uh, last week's topic was the Freemasons, which was really cool. And you should go listen to it or watch it. Would recommend. But in, it inspired me to look for other popular uprises due to social tensions as a result of increasing socioeconomic differences. Just kidding. But it is a great segue into our topic. <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> I know I, I thought totally it believe there. that I was like <laughs> thank you yeah, I was right. like uh huh I actually I think I caught I'm not gonna lie I think I copy pasted that sentence in from an article I'm not quite sure which one Oops, don't plagiarize <laughs> me but I thought it was really fun and I could tie it into last week's to continue to market Absolutely. our products so yeah thank you thank you so much so mm. today's topic was suggested I have to uh, give a shout out. To our very good friend, I'm going to mess up his username. Sorry, it's also in Dutch. Stokebroodjok? I think they rolled their R's. Yeah, sorry, Stoke. We call him Stoke. Stoke. (laughs) But yeah, he's our good friend for the Netherlands. And uh, he's also the disembodied voice that narrates uh, the disclaimer for each of our episodes. So, hey, we have friends. That's proof. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, the deep, basty, velvety voice that you hear is our good friend Stoke. Um, so uh, let's see. He, where am I in my notes? Do, 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 do. He sent us some uh, of Netherlands folklores and weird historical events. And today is one of those weird historical events. And it Hell is yeah. a good one at that. <laughs> um, also, great segue. Uh, P.S. for all of our other international listeners, because we know you are there because we see you. Uh huh. Analytics. We see the little dots on the map. Hello mm-hmm. to India, Jordan. Yeah. So yeah. cool. Thank you. There's someone Thank in you. Ireland. There's someone in the UK. <gasps> There's a bunch of people in Belgium, which, damn. Yeah. That's awesome. I saw someone in Ecuador and in Peru. Oh, fuck yeah. Hola, Thank mis you. amigos. <gasps> oh, my God. Ah! Oh, my God. This is really cool. Wow. wow. It's I awesome. Wow, guys, thank you so much. Wow, I have not looked since Sunday. Holy fuck. Okay, well, that's... Oh, my God, I'm perspirating now. That's great. Thank you guys so much. Okay, first off, thank you for listening. (laughs) And then uh, second off, uh, if you have any uh, folklore or cryptids or just bizarre historical events, either in your area or in your country... Because the U.S. has a ton of them and we want to go over them, but we don't know any of yours. So if you want to send them in to us, that would be really cool because I love learning about the world. So, yeah. Long story short, please be our friend. (laughs) Tell us about your world. (laughs) Down below. Or send us an email. Darkdesignpodcast at gmail.com. Absolutely. Thank you so much. God, this is, oh, God, we make such a great team. (laughs) Absolutely. Hell yeah, girl. But uh, back to the story. It's going to happen a lot. I'm going to get pulled away, sidetracked many times. (laughs) But today we are talking about the popular Dutch historical uprising known as the or the Eel Riot. (laughs) (laughs) I'm so sorry. I'm stoked to to like pronounce all of these like Dutch words and then we just put it in like... (laughs) Like you, you know oh, what I mean. Oh, yes, like yes. When it's like, like uh, thank you for calling eight one eight three nine. <laughs> yeah, he like he talks over top of me. Oh, that poor man. It's either that or next episode. I can I can have him like read out a list of the names of things, and then I'll read out a list of the names of how I would pronounce it, and then how they're actually supposed to be pronounced. Yeah, that might be a fun little banter for for next episode or the episode after. Mm-hmm. Think about it. 
Ooh, I love it. Extra, I almost said extra uh, credit for our Patreon. It can be, but hey, um, extra Patreon. Yeah. <gasps> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We can have people send us like um, words in their language. We try to pronounce <gasps> it and then they just send us like recordings and we have like that side by side. And then we yes. just tick off how, mm-hmm. um, which ones we got right and which ones we got wrong. And um, we can do like a, like a, I don't know, like a Discord competition one day to see who can do it best. <laughs> I agree 110%. Absolutely. I'm down for this. We can make it into some competition somehow, somewhere. Oh, that'll be so much fun. Oh, I'm totally down for it. Absolutely. It's going to be mm-hmm. awesome. Mm-hmm. Beverly, you're a genius. Absolute genius. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, goodness. Uh, I'm so sorry. Where were we? Did I already? Um, oh, we did. Okay, sorry. Yes, we. Okay, so I did the introduction. Let me read yeah, through. And now right we here. are. Thank you, madame. Thank you for pointing out my notes. I'm going to leave all this in, by the way, so the listeners have no idea what's going on, but secretly they do. So today we are talking about <laughs> the uh, historical Dutch eel riot. Uh, and this event occurred in the Jordan neighborhood in Amsterdam on July 25th and July 26th of 1886. It all started when the police tried to break up a good old forbidden game of eel pulling on the Lindengrot Canal. Yeah, yeah, it's very bizarre. We'll, we'll we'll get into it. Uh huh. So like, what the yeah. Fuck oh is yeah. Eel pulling. <laughs> I'm so glad. Is it you like asked. cow tipping in America? <laughs> Oh, you know what? Uh, you know what? An animal could get hurt. And yeah, probably. Yeah, we'll get it. Yeah, well, thank you for asking. We will. I will explain the game. Okay. Um, but before we explain just... the game, let me just do a really quick disclaimer. Yeah, yeah. For like two things. First disclaimer, dear Stoke and other Dutch listeners, I'm going to do my best to pronounce things. But as you have already heard or seen, ah, we doing our best. So at the end of the day, please just laugh. I'm here to stumble my way through uh, the sentences for your entertainment. So just laugh. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, we and don't need also, any I, negative comments telling us how much we suck. We already know we suck. We know we can't speak the language. We're trying our best here. <laughs> exactly. I'm not a native speaker, so get out of here, okay? It's not my fault. I'm trying. <laughs> um, also, second off, most of my sources were translated from Dutch to English. And so um, my main source that I used was dbnl.org. I did my best with putting the pieces together. But if they were too, if like the translation was too off, I left them out because I didn't want to guess what the history was. So um, I'm going to do my best to put the pieces together. But if I do miss anything, please fill in the gaps in the comments below. I would greatly appreciate it. And we would like to hear from you. And I want to know more about the eel history riot thing. So Absolutely. <laughs> and we'll shout yes. you out on the next episode with like any additional info you give us too. So Hell yeah. Yeah. Just so everyone's yeah. up to date. And we'll keep a, uh, keep all the listeners uh, in on the in on the uh, the secret. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> pollen trekking, mm-hmm. meaning eel pulling or eel drawing, going back to um, what is eel pulling, um, was an old Amsterdam game in which a rope was stretched across a canal and a live eel was hung from it. Stay with me. The players had to sail underneath in boats to try to grab the slippery eel that was tied in the rope above them. The goal was to free the eel from the rope, a.k.a. by decapitating it, by pulling on its tail and popping off its head. And a player would lose, stay with me, if they fell from the boat into the canal. So, (laughs) it was kind of brutal. I have a couple of questions. (laughs) Yeah, what's up? First one, eels Mm -hmm. have heads? Yeah, like, I uh, I guess like like the one big neck. That's what I thought. So are they all just <laughs> neck? I guess so, yeah. I guess what that what is, Because what I'm thinking yeah. of is, um, I don't know, I just, I feel, have you seen that episode of Spongebob? Again, Spongebob on mm-hmm. this episode. But that episode yeah. of Spongebob where, humans. Where, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> where he, where that new student comes into the class and he's like really wide, but when he turns, he disappears. Uh-huh. That's what I imagine he, eels are like so they don't have heads are they actually oh bigger? i see what you're saying. i've never actually yeah. seen a picture of an eel, eel? oh you ever seen an eel oh man no. yeah they're actually some of them are really cute looking others horrendously horrific and gross Great. and terrifying to look at but no I they're actually they really cool like fangs 
Uh, again, depends on the species. Yeah, uh, like yeah. the moray eel, they're kind of terrifying, but also kind of cool. Little mermaid, those little snaky thingies. Yeah, they're kind of oh, like water snakes, eyes. water noodle snakes. Yeah, yeah. Water they're noodles. Cool. Aww, that's yeah, cute. little water noodles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but like they're really cute, and I'm really sad that this game occurred because like it's kind of like super brutal. Like let's be real. Yeah, um, it is. but I will I will uh let you know that the eel pulling was banned by the government as a cruel and a uh, cruel public form of entertainment so that was cool and like fair yep. uh but also a word on that like all of our ancestors u.s ancestors included we all did some really stupid shit before the internet was invented so yeah. okay we had to find some way to distract ourselves yeah <laughs> <laughs> they're so, like <laughs> let me take this rock and just throw it at people that's fun it's like yeah yeah no, it's like, fine. get your shit together why are you killing eels oh my god yeah I don't know people pretty are- much the Netherlands are called Jimothy. I'm going to call this imaginary <laughs> Dutch person Stein. I love it. Yep. I love it. <laughs> there you go, Stein. Why are you pulling on eels, Stein? <laughs> I have many questions. Leave the water noodles out of this. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but um, mind you, uh, just like a really quick um, note before we hop mm-hmm. into the story the the this particular event was not the result like this event didn't cause tension between the classes and we'll get into it but it was kind of like the tipping point that everyone got pissed off so it was like the explosion point the apex between uh the, the tensions were rising and then this kind of like boiled over because of this event it's like the boston tea party they weren't mad Pretty at the tea, they were mad at the event <laughs> exactly yeah they were mad at like the the british and stuff like that for taxes or something i should have probably paid attention in class more but yeah, i did I read the chapter afterwards <laughs> taxation and stuff that's all i know <laughs> right <laughs> exactly but going back to government um i will also fully admit when the events of this story occurred i'm not sure if the game was already banned or if it was just heavily frowned upon okay so uh, just to keep that in mind. Um, so long story short, uh, there was a lot of tension between the upper class and the lower class. And so the upper class did not like, uh, they, there was a lot of tension due to like socioeconomic uh, tensions, the usual stuff, uh, labor hours, working, unfair pays, yada, 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 yada. Always been there, always was. This is a, a poor community that we're, that is, uh, that we're going to focus on today. So the upper class did not like the eel pulling and uh, tensions were already growing between the classes. Uh, and uh, there was also a lot of tension between the lower class and the police uh, who resided in the Jordan neighborhood. And so from what I could probably piece together, and I might be speculating wildly here, but I was using translated documents, is that um, the lower class had a problem with the police because the police were pulled from the lower class in order to defend the upper class so it's like a hey you're supposed to be on our side type of thing why are you being mean to us so that's where the tension between the police and the the lower class came from right so (laughs) all of that backstory being said according to the january 1887 article the January 1887 article, sorry, uh, words are hard sometimes, in the new guide, the previous Sunday, the inhabitants of the Jordan neighborhood had organized a sack racing party and which, being an innocent game, the police turned a blind eye to. So before then, uh, before the the eel uh, game, gatherings of the lower class were being shut down. Okay. But they were able to get away with this sack race event and so they were like, hey, if we got away with this, we can now go back to eel pulling because <laughs> like, <laughs> everything's cool. You know what I mean? And yeah. like eel pulling was their like their version of like Monday night football. OK, so it's like really big. Everyone loves Monday it. Night eel Don't pulling. take it away from us. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Actually, yeah. Easy. Sunday night eel pulling. <laughs> it's, it correlates. And that's how football was invented. But uh, let's see. <laughs> Eventually it gets down the line. Uh, so since the social gathering was successful, it was decided amongst the residents, uh, of the lower class to draw eels the following Sunday. Now there is a lot of debate on whether the police were informed about this gathering beforehand or not, Mm. but regardless if they were informed or not, it was quite obvious that the 
residents of the area were putting together some festival, some event, something was being organized, you know, yeah. things were being moved around, bodies were going places, people were lifting and putting things in other places. <laughs> bodies were just hitting the floor and let the bodies hit the floor. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. All for the eel pulling. Like, yeah, and, no. You know, just the <laughs> teenagers scare the living shit out of me. It's, they can oh, care God. less. Okay. They're going to mm-hmm. behead an eel. Exactly. What yeah. is it? They're going to, you know, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gerard it's like, gets it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He get, he completely understands. History just repeats itself. You know what I mean? Yep. It's just mm-hmm. a different form of entertainment mm-hmm. <laughs> well fun so, fact actually about mcr yeah. i'm sorry no go so, for it i want to hear it i um, love them <laughs> tell me so black parade actually originated from this you'll pull it mm-hmm. amazing tell me how i don't know it's not real <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. i wanted to open I tried to open up that door for you to improv something, and I was going to be like, I was trying like, to think of something. It... Oh, yeah. Uh, uh-huh, go for it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, mm-hmm. Anne. Mm-hmm. Nope, I can't think of it. Okay, that's I fine. I lost that's my fine. train of thought. Damn. Damn it. You know what? Okay. If we remember it at another point in time, we'll bring it up. Okay. <laughs> we'll workshop it. We'll workshop it. No, <laughs> you're good. You're good. You're good. We just made a new event on our show. <laughs> Whether the listeners like it or not. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Welcome to the show. If you're new, you picked a good episode. I'm sorry. It's always like this. Turns out. <laughs> There's always singing. So, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm like Jess from New Girl, and I'm so sorry. I'm quirky. Oh, I love Jess. Mm, thank She's you. Awesome. Thank you. She does like better than Nick. Myself. Oh, you know what? I haven't watched too much of it, so don't watch your watch your spoilers. I'm just kidding. I already know how it, how it finishes, but like that's oh. fine. <laughs> So we're good. You're good. <laughs> but <laughs> any <hoozy. laughs> Um, So on the Sunday morning, back to the story. On the Sunday morning and afternoon of July 25th, 1886, the Lindengrot Canal and uh, the, the neighborhoods around the Lindengrot Canal uh, and the surrounding neighborhoods were excited for the so passionately beloved eel pulling game. According to Township, <laughs> according to Township Amsterdam City Archives, a game of eel pulling had started on the Lindengrot Canal at half past four, and the eel had already been pulled three times when several police officers on patrol ordered the eel pullers to stop playing. One of the police officers, how dare he, cut the rope on which the eel was hanging, <laughs> thus ending the festivities for the day. However, comma. And that's a big comma. Indeed, this was not taken lightly as the spectators thus turned on the police officers. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Like a riot? They, they, uh-huh. Oh, well, they got mad. So this is where everything starts. So the police officer who had cut the rope was pulled into a basement and beaten. <laughs> not killed, Holy but beaten. Holy shit. <laughs> what? They whooped his that ass. has to yeah. be illegal. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. Like, ah, it's quite fun. Uh, well, I mean, people are getting hurt, but at least they're not dying yet. Hold tight. Wait, so I, I want. Yes. I'm sorry. Do they Go just send it. one officer into a group oh, of no. people? I or do, do they, believe... like, separate them mm-hmm. and then they mm-hmm. beat the guy? Mm-hmm. Uh, so what I think had happened, and of course I'm speculating wildly, I'm going to say there was at least... I want to say three or more officers on patrol, maybe two for officers on patrol. Uh, one uh, went up to go cut the the cord, the uh, the tie the rope, and uh, once he tied the rope, I think the the people were like, "Hey, oh, what the fuck!" and then grabbed him and was like, "Come here!" and then separated him from like their officer friends. Oh shit! Yeah, which like is not a good sign, especially if you're in the force. So like that's yeah. a scary situation, but it does get worse for the officers. Hold tight! Right, I love to hear it. <laughs> All right. (laughs) So at one point in time, the mob did throw itself at an inspector whom they disarmed and beat and then also intended to drown in the canal. But thankfully, a woman from the crowd managed to avoid this fact by bringing those workers to reason before they killed the man. So (laughs) here we go again, Mm -hmm. showing that women have more reasoning skills yeah. Have better reasoning skills and are not just thinking with their second head, they're thinking with their brain. 
Exactly. I'm just saying. Leave it to a woman can... to save the day. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not going to lie, Bev, but when I read that, that's exactly what I thought. I was like, a fucking qu- I can guarantee you there's probably some like bloodthirsty eel men out there just wanting to pull their eels everywhere. And then, of course, there has to be some lady that goes, hey, 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 hey boys, settle the fuck down. Sit down. Yep. Mom says so. <laughs> you can't do that shit. <laughs> you can't go around no. killing officers. That's how you die. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, okay, like, it's just a game of eel pulling. Could we not kill someone over it? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta love it. So God bless that woman. I hope she's doing well. Mm-hmm. She is dead. It's been over 150 years. I think math is hard, but it's been a while. But God bless her and her family. <laughs> Let's name her so, Sherry. <laughs> Sherry, you're the best. Thank you, mm-hmm. Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. Round of applause for Sherry. <laughs> we love you, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Ah. But also the uh, the other officers had managed to make their way through the enraged crowd to get reinforcements at the uh, police barracks. Ooh. Sadly, the police acted harshly, but they only managed to restore order at 10 o'clock at night because most of the rioters had already gone home at that point. So um, they were just all sleepy and stuff. <laughs> Even rioters have bedtimes. <laughs> exactly everyone gets tired at some point in time you just sometimes yeah. need to, you know ride out the fight but hey <laughs> speaking of uh fighting um on monday july 26 1886 riots broke out again a crowd of the uh lower class locals that were involved with the eel riding the day before armed themselves with sticks and rods sticks and rods and besieged the police station they cornered the agents and uh, the police officers had to call in reinforcements and uh, to the point where they eventually had to ask the army to intervene because these people were so pissed off that they, that they, that they stopped their eel pulling games. They were still trying to kill these men. <laughs> All because someone said we can't watch Monday Night Football, which like I get it. There's some places where you would say I would like to deeply disagree with you, Rachel. If you, if you cancel that, I'd be pissed, which like I agree because it's just like a... Uh, it's a nice social gathering that we like, so don't take yeah. that away from us. They're you know? just fighting for the right to party, you know? I think, like, I yeah, just... I was, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, when was the telephone invented? Like, how did they call in reinforcements? Did they have to send out a telegraph? Like, did they ask one of the rioters? Oh. Like, they're like, hey, I need this, this. delivered at the mm-hmm. army barracks. Oh, please. Yeah. And the rioter just, like, set down their stick, and they're like, Got it. Yes, we'll do. I'll do it for 12 pence. Like, <laughs> how? I'm actually, no. yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'm like, I, did they have like a, like some form of like a communication? Like when was like a Morris code invented? Did they have something like that? Mm. Was there like smoke signals? Did they have someone run out the back with like a letter? <laughs> Like, I don't know. I have no idea. Did actually. they set off a firework? <laughs> yeah. Did someone like, uh, sneak into the canal and paddle away in secret you know <laughs> when uh you know the riders came i have no idea speculating so, wildly then i mm-hmm. guess another question um sure. so the it was the rich people that are, that were against this is it because they lived like along the canal Ooh, i am actually not 100 percent sure because you know I how did... like rich people like mm-hmm. to live by water or in yeah mountains? yeah that's very true um, well, uh, Amsterdam is also just surrounded by canals, so everyone's staring at a canal. I think True. it was just the, the, probably the, the sh- I don't know, speculating wildly here, because I didn't, translation issues with my re- references, but yeah. what, from the information that I could gather, is like, there was just a lot of, I think, a lot of change, and the lower class was being left out. And uh, this was just another change that the lower class was not made aware of and or wasn't allowed to vote on. Mm. And so they were still feeling like, hey, you've been stripping us, like stripping our culture and the things that we like away. And now you're going to take this like beloved game away from us. And so yeah. I think there was just a ton of tension building beforehand. It's like and the this one was silver like the lining point. in mm-hmm. our dreary lives. Like you guys get to go to balls. We get to eel pool. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Please. the balls that we have to work at because, you know, we can't actually enjoy that, but you, but we get to stare at you and watch you enjoying it, but we can't actually yep. enjoy it, but we can't enjoy the things that we want to enjoy. Exactly. Yeah. 
Yep. Yeah. 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 So I think that is the the reasoning behind all this. I haven't looked too far deep into um, like labor laws and, mm-hmm. and activities in the um, in the Netherlands, admittedly. Yeah. But I think speculating wildly, but I'm assuming that that's kind of the logist of what I was reading. But it was also some of it was like not the greatest Google translation of English, <laughs> Dutch to English. So. <laughs> But I think that's that what I can sense. gather from. Yeah. Uh, but any, uh, moral of the story, as you can imagine, uh, a terrible fight broke out between uh, the the lower class in the police station and then the army came in. Uh, the streets <laughs> um, the streets were uh, broken up and barricades were erected. Uh, the Jordan inhabitants pelted the police from their roofs with everything that they could lay their hands on while the <laughs> army... Yeah, so they're just picking up, like, rocks and stones and, like, buttons from their houses and stuff and just throwing them at the police and army. But then, honestly, I think the army had an unfair advantage and also didn't, um, you know, maybe too much brutality at one time because they ended up firing back with live ammunition. (laughs) And so, like, uh, unfortunately, uh, peace did return the following day. But 26 people had been killed at that point, and they said there was somewhere around close to 80 people that were injured. Yeah, so, like, there was, like, a ton of hurt. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. the police couldn't defend themselves against people with sticks. Mm-hmm. So they yeah. called in the army, who then mm-hmm. used, I'm assuming, like, firearms and shit yeah, against them. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. I were know. Any Super of brutal, the 20, but no one cares. Were mm-hmm. any of the 26 murdered or any of the 54 mm-hmm. injured? Well, aside mm-hmm. from the two that we know of. Mm-hmm. In the force? As far as I know, all of the the people that were killed were rioters. So, yeah. I know. It, it like, really sucks. And it's all because, like, nobody, like, the, and it could have just... Ah, uh, okay. So there was a lot of uproar and criticism in the press, both uh, locally in the Netherlands and also in the surrounding countries, because people were like, "What the fuck happened?" Because it was like, just like they're really killing people over eels. <laughs> yeah, and like, <laughs> and it was well, of course, because it was such like a, a silly little story of like, this is what sparked all of this. Like, what the fuck happened? Um, so there was a ton of uh, criticism in the press of the police's action. And this was, like, brought to light all of, like, what had been going up and what led up to, like, all this rioting had occurred and uh, was, like, broadcasted. Um, And so we definitely know that there was tension between the upper class, lower class, and the police, and that was all Mm -hmm. came to light. And so um, the game was eventually, like I said, banned by the government, not exactly sure when, uh, but just to quote uh, the dbnl.com, because uh, I thought it was a really good quote and I thought it was really funny. But, uh, quote, the prohibition on drawing eels was merely a pro- provocation as any other police action would have been because in a civilized country it is forbidden on a Sunday afternoon to the delight of the bourgeois guise, or however you say it, to bourgeois pluck an eel. Who will, yes, bourgeoisie, to uh, pluck an eel until its head falls off, which is essentially if the rich people don't want to see it, then we don't get to play that game. So I thought that was a really cute quote. Uh, but totally, again, I will say, uh-huh. eat the rich. <laughs> yeah, dude, come on. <laughs> like, why can't we all just be happy and be friends? Exactly. Uh, but the police totally 110% could have prevented the riot by acting earlier and a lot more tactfully. Like, you could have just like walked up and been like, hey, this is a no-no. We're going to let it slide this time. But we're just letting you know that if this ever happens again, like, we will intervene. Like, you could have, that's that's what you could have said. And then, like, you could just hung out with the locals and then, like, shoot, you know, shoot the bird or shoot the shit, however you say. Get on their side. And so if they ever do put up an eel game thing again, you can, you at least have some friends that you can say, hey, we can't do this. Yeah. And then maybe instead, help them they out. they cut their fucking rope. Yeah, and ended the like, game. First just of all, like that? rope Come is on. so expensive. Yeah. You're just gonna I especially the back then. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't like know. it's not just mass produced, like people had to tie that together, like all mm-hmm. the individual fibers. It's wild. Right. I'm just like, just leave the people, just let them be. Let them have fun. So oh, and then um, so I know in the description of this um 
of this video i totally marketed it like there was like a like a really cool conspiracy theory for it i only have one sentence of it because again <laughs> translation issues <laughs> but for those people who really turned in for the conspiracy theory uh theory here you go here's your sentence so um others did see a socialist plot behind the riot uh due to the social class issues but oh and there was like a trial and everything like they arrested people um, a number of people of the rioters were arrested and put on trial at the end of 1886 because of this theory. Uh, but the public prosecutor came out and stated that he indeed found absolutely nothing of a socialist plot. So, but people were just to the point, I think because people, I, uh, I think it was just more of a power move, but people were afraid yeah. that the, you know, the lower class was getting power and then people started screaming conspiracy theories Ugh, this can be related to our times. Anyway, sorry, I'll stop whispering into the mic. Absolutely related to our times. Yeah, come on. Think about it. History repeats itself. I'm just saying. Government don't come for me. I'm just educating people. I'm sorry. Yeah, Mr. FBI, I'm we're sorry. just telling a story. Please don't, please don't kidnap me in my sleep. Mm -hmm. I mean, do. It's kind of hot, but don't. Thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I agree with her. Just don't, just, you know what I mean. Just be chill, okay? Just, just mm -hmm. kind of give me a heads up and, and that'll be it. Thank you. Oh, you coming know to my TED talk. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. Oh, speaking of TED talks, <laughs> and we are getting off topic, but that's fine. If I ever get a TED talk, it's going to be a musical TED talk. Like, oh, like a high production, right? I know. You revolutionary my, woman. I love thank it. Thank you so much. Like I went Todd Hall, like the whole everybody. I can only think of one dancer, and it's Todd Hall. Oh, and then Lindsay Stringley or whatever her name is, so she can fiddle her way into a lesson. I would love that. <laughs> My biggest thing is uh, you can teach anybody any topic ever. You just have to be entertaining. Like, you just have to make sure that they have fun. Like, and you can teach anyone, yeah. everyone. Anything, everyone, anything. If you, you did it. That made sense. Thank yeah. You. I mean, if you're not having fun with the topic that you're presenting, then maybe present mm -hmm. a different topic. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Same also goes with people, TED Talks. <laughs> Yeah, and like people are really hard to entertain, and not everyone likes a musical. I know, but I would like to have like a cool like oh 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 what's her name um the really creepy girl Melanie uh uh Melanie no, Rodriguez yes yes is, is she the singer like the one with the weird infant fetish yes I think but she has like the like the the K through 12 like movie mm -hmm. and it's like all of her like music videos that's what i would like to do but with like a ted talk mm. i think that'd be really fun yeah mm. yeah that would be so like i don't talk. actually present anything but it's like a it's a, like a movie that you watch i think it'd be yeah. pretty fun that think about it awesome. uh, ted talk is there like a company that does ted talk or is it just ted talk company ted if you're listening <laughs> <laughs> think about it ted i need you ted <laughs> I don't know how investors work. I'm learning it now, but we can make something happen. I'm just saying. You heard the woman. I can hear the theater community cheering behind me. I'll find the gays. I love the gays. I am a gay. We'll get there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Our community will get there we'll one way or another. Here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And I'm like, I will get there one way or another. And we're going to sing and dance and jazz hands our way there. I sway all the way to the top, baby. I swear to God, we're getting there. Thank you. <laughs> jazz hands for me. Thank you. The dang. But anyway, long story short, thank you for putting the pin in it. I'm uh, circling back. That's the end of my story. So thank you so much for coming to my TED Talk. Thank you. There's there's the joke. We circled back. That was the best TED Talk I've ever heard. Thank you. Thank you so much. Iconic. Oh, I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Inspirational. Mm -hmm. uh, just <laughs> wonderful. Amazing. It's just so well researched. And thank I you. just, you know what? The people sort of. that don't get it, they're mm -hmm. just not woke. You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fuck you. <laughs> Go read Twitter <laughs> posts or something. <laughs> I don't know. Is that what Twitter does? I'm rarely on Twitter. It's such an yeah, interesting not... place. You know, ever since mm -hmm. Elon Musk bought it, I just did he don't actually use buy Twitter. it? I'm pretty sure he did. Okay, he? I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I know I he violated cool the about... contract or something, but I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna get into speculate. Elon Musk because uh, yeah. he's a very controversial topic nowadays. <laughs> That's very true. And he's still alive. And so, and there's also a lot of supportive. So like, I just rather not talk shit on people like that. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Elon, and, we and love cut you. Cut out anything with Elon. <laughs> yeah, that's true. 
<laughs> oh man, I really like Grimes though. I want to hang out with Grimes. Okay, one day I'm I'm done. Is Grimes his wife? The... I don't know. But I know they had a kid together, which like totally chill. Ooh, Is Grimes awesome. a singer? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I um okay, uh sorry, vision board. I, I'm gonna smoke weed with Grimes. I'm gonna smoke weed with a lot of celebrities, including Snoop Fuck Dogg, yeah. turns out. Yeah. So have you seen his streams on Twitch? <gasps> no, but I heard about it and Snoop I want to try Dogg's it. Streams on Twitch. He uh-huh. sometimes <laughs> will just walk away for hours on end. Like no, all of his chats are emo only. <laughs> yeah, he keeps the stream running. All of his chats are emo only. Um, and I think he likes to play Fortnite or something. I can see it. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. And he just he like doesn't even turn his audio on sometimes. It's no. It's a wild oh. ride. Speaking of Snoop Dogg. Yes. So, uh-huh. You know how Jacob and I are going to Denmark. <laughs> yes, <laughs> or, I do. Since we're listening to this in the future, how we went to Denmark. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. A couple of weeks ago, um, uh-huh. we saw Snoop Dogg in okay. Denmark. What? Oh, yeah, I see, see what you're Dogg. saying. I see what uh-huh. you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Manifestation. We, okay, if you do, you're going to market the podcast to him and you're just no, going to say, did. sir. We are going to see him. We bought tickets. I see He's what you're saying. In Denmark. Okay. Yes. Oh, no, for real, for real. Oh, okay. No, for I real, thought you were for real. Just- no, I'm 100% saying, okay, serious. I, oh, no. Oh, no. The time jumping. It got me. I, the past, present, future tense. I was very confused. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. You literally are going to go see. That's amazing. Yeah. We were looking actually, for a concert. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Tell them about our show and that I, we should all smoke weed together. Probably everyone says that. Sign but up like, like this. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm all sweaty. It's like, you want to talk? Yeah, me too, girl. Don't worry about it. That's why I'm wearing black and white today. <laughs> but just be, just hold up a sign that says, uh, come smoke weed with me and my friend. We talk about smoky, spooky shit and then like fun spooky shit and then uh, and smoke weed and then put our podcast at the very bottom of the sign. Don't, you don't I have to, really have to do that. I fucking mm-hmm. do it. Jacob will be looking at <gasps> me like ooh. the whole time, but yeah. I'll do it. Oh, I don't care. Sure. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. No. Yeah, um, it's fine. You know, uh, if you don't have morals or like a lack of some some morals in some areas, you can do a lot of things. Okay. You know what? Let me rephrase that. That sounds really bad. If you practice humility a lot, you can go places. Oh, and you're confident with what you're saying and good at bullshitting. I've been watching a this lot of social engineering. TikTok. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. I've been watching so much uh, documentaries on social engineering and con men, which again, sounds really bad, but I'm using it for the power of good. <laughs> <laughs> that is what every cult leader has ever out. said. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You know, I've always, that's like, has been like a running joke of like all of my guy, like my, on my Twitch a lot. But like now that I'm like getting things, the cult of weird yeah yeah like just setting things up in my mind and like you know of course like preparing for my future you know what i mean <laughs> oh my god i'm manifesting your destiny uh-huh. thank you i like that better it makes me feel really good and um brave and courageous and i'm just going to black out and deny my negative or the negative feelings but the stress the stress anyway where was i going with this what were we talking about oh maybe here we can insert that meme that video where mm-hmm. he's like I'm b- b- blocking out all the haters. And he puts on his like sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's where I'm at right now. And sometimes you just need to like shout nice things into, into a microphone. I almost said microwave. Shout nice things into a microwave so they can come true. There you go. We just made it. Yeah, up exactly. Folklore. It's like a reheatable. Mm-hmm. It's like a um, a TV dinner. You put it in there. It goes from absolutely bullshit to something super fucking delicious so absolutely shouting into a microwave you're gonna make that's a form of manifestation you shout your shit into a microwave close it up turn the microwave on for two to three minutes and then you get your dream there you go that's it there it is Mm -hmm. there you have to it's like angel numbers you have to type in like one 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 or two 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 or three 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 whatever you're trying to do yeah (laughs) preferably and then it cooks it one 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 so you don't explode yeah you know what but you know it's always one, 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 one. Yeah, Speaking it's always of three exploding ones. microwaves. Yeah. Did I ever Ooh, tell wow, you? Great segue. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm um, intrigued. In college, one, I fucking, oh my God. I really wanted a brownie. So I went to Eagle. 
fuck, what was that market called? Giant Eagle? Giant Eagle. Thank you. I went to Mm -hmm. Giant Eagle and I got those microwavable brownies where it's like you pop it in the microwave. It comes in a prepackaged container. Pop it in. Mm -hmm. Pop it out. Pop it in your mouth. Pop it out Mm -hmm. your butt. Right? Right. So so I was really high and I was reading the instructions. Oh, no. I thought it said Uh three minutes. So I put it in for three minutes. (gasps) Yes. And I came back three minutes later and it like the inside of the microwave was like and there was just smoke oh, coming no. out and I was like Oh no. So I opened it and then the brownie yeah. went and I was oh, like no. So I opened up, I was like, Well fuck, so now I have to clean this, but I have to wait for it to like cool down, blah blah blah. So in the meantime, yeah. I opened up the container or I pulled out the container from the freezer and I was like, What the fuck happened to my brownie? It said 30 seconds. Yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, yep. no. <laughs> Two and a half minutes, turns out, isn't, isn't necessary. It's a little bit too oh. long for that plastic. <laughs> oh, dang. Out of curiosity, were you, <laughs> were you in, like, one of the apartments that you lived in? Were you in the sorority suite when you did this? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I think I would have gotten kicked out. <laughs> I mean, I would have gotten caught and kicked out from there for, like, yeah. much less, but, or... But, That's you know, fair. yeah, because I, I was like, I don't, because I was, I used to be also house manager for, at, in our sorority at one point in time. So I was just like, I don't remember there being a fire alarm going mm-hmm. off. Beverly, what did you do? There. Thank you for, okay, no, cool. <laughs> <laughs> it was not there. Um, Cause I was like, how did you manage to pull that one off? I'm going to have many questions for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't there. It was um, mm-hmm. after I moved out from the suite, I moved in with, uh, can we believe out her name? But her name was, oh, absolutely. I don't know if you ever oh. met her. Oh, no, but her last name's pretty fun. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I fuck. hated her so much. <laughs> but the year oh, after that, I moved in with three guys and it was fine. So Okay, sick. Oh my yeah. god. Dude. Julian, if oh. you're listening to this, I love you. You're amazing. You have been one of my best roommates. Thank you. My oh. beautiful, wonderful little human. He's a nurse. He's oh. becoming like a nurse practitioner now. He's like a oh, travel fuck, nurse. He's name? wild. I'm so sorry. Julian Palmer Davies. Julian. Oh, fuck yeah. Do we want to shout yeah. him out? I'll just... I'll yeah. Out. Julia Palmer Davies, you are fucking amazing. If you guys want to follow him on Instagram, sorry. he's amazing. Don't be rude. I flipped off the camera. I'm so sorry. Because uh, I was like, fuck yeah! Woo woo woo! Yeah. But then I was like, oh no, that's just the right... Th- uh, but, I let the- but it's a sign of I love you, Julian. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. All of my introductions are like this. So... Hey! <laughs> yeah, what's up? Let me shake your hand. just as impressive. <laughs> Pretty much... <laughs> take my finger it's uh pretty much all of my intros come in hot hi <laughs> speaking of intro uh, would you like to do our outro yeah i'll absolutely do our outro also oh, if man, you guys that have last... been listening this long thank you and yeah, um if you also had a horrible fucking roommate in college please mm-hmm. send us an email at dark by design podcast at gmail.com maybe we can do a themed episode which is like horrible roommate stories. <laughs> I, yeah, no, I'd be actually. I was a little shit ass in college. Okay, so maybe yeah. Okay, send us in your stories, and I might tell you one of my little shit ass stories. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also speaking, I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you finish, but just real quick, I finally admitted to my father and my stepmom that I yes, I was in fact a shit stir all my life. Thank you very much. So I had that realization, and I did admit to that. To that is the first the phone, step to so. recovery. I'm just Thank you so much. Oh, I I'm not recovering. Oh, I'm not recovering. But I'm just gonna let. I'm just gonna yeah, keep no, being just, a shithead. Like, yeah, I just want everyone to know to expect shithead mannerisms for me, but like in the most loving way possible. Yeah. Anyway, a loving shithead. Take the mic. Yeah, take the mic. Take the mic. <laughs> I give it back. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, thank you guys so much for listening to our creepy stories and wild speculations. Um, also, again, if you have listened this far, thank you so much. Please send us your shitty roommate stories and like any other mm-hmm. weird, creepy encounter, ghost stories or personal true crime stories that you'd like to share with your fellow coven members. Um, oh, yeah. And go ahead and email that over to darkbydesignpodcast at gmail.com. Um, yes. This has been the Dark by Design Podcast. Please like, comment, subscribe, and follow for more monstrous episodes released every Monday at midnight. And you can find more information about today's topic on the show's website, darkbydesignpodcast.com, or on YouTube, Instagram, and uh, uh, Twitch. 
soon. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, yeah, on Twitch and then also on TikTok. We post videos on there. Mm-hmm. Show us some love. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Um, and then you can also listen to us. Oh, sorry. That's at dark by design underscore podcast. Um, and then you can also listen on your favorite podcast streaming site or watch the show on our YouTube channel. All right, Rachel, We're take us everything. out with the song. We want to hear from you too. Give us a shout out and listen to our weird shit. Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay. Put me on the spot. Uh, that's fine. Hey, thank you so much for listening. And uh, that's the outro. So um, we'll see you. Jazz hands. Jazz hands. Oh, 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 oh. We'll see you next week. Be nice to yourself. Be nice to other people. And we'll see you later. Woo! Goodbye. <laughs> thank you for coming to our TED Talk. <laughs>